Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Murray Yates. Can you believe that this time next week we would have celebrated the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ? Talking of which, shall we open door 18 of our Advent calendar? Psalm 45 was originally written as a wedding song. Within the words is found verses 6 and 7 which reads as follows. Your throne God is forever and ever. A scepter of equality is a scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness over your fellows. We've heard prophecies about a scepter that would bless all nations before. We'll see tomorrow how this prophecy was fulfilled through Jesus. It's Numbers chapter 34 today. Let's open God's word with prayer. Lord I ask that as I read your word that you reveal what you need to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers chapter 34 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel and tell them, When you come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall to you for an inheritance, even the land of Canaan according to its borders. And your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along by the side of Edom. And your south border shall be from the end of the salt sea eastward. Your border shall turn southward by the ascent of Akribim, and pass along to Zin, and it shall pass southward of Kadash Bernay, and it shall go from there to Hazar Adar, and pass along to Asmon. The border shall turn from Asmon to the book of Egypt, and it shall end at the sea. For the western border, you shall have the great sea and its border. This shall be your west border. This shall be your north border. From the great sea, you shall mark out for yourselves Mount Or. From Mount Or, you shall mark out the entrance of Hamath. And the border shall pass by the Edad. Then the border shall go to Zephon. And it shall end at Hazar Enon. This shall be your north border. You shall mark out your east border from Hazarinan to Shepham. The border shall go down from Shepham to Ribla, on the east side of Ain. The border shall go down and shall reach the side of the sea of Chinnareth, eastward. The border shall go down to the Jordan, and end at the salt sea. This shall be your land, according to its borders around it. Moses commanded the children of Israel, saying, This is the land which you shall inherit by lot which Yahweh is commanded to give to the nine tribes, and to the half-tribe. For the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to their father's houses, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to their father's houses, have received, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. The two tribes and the half-tribe have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan at Jericho eastward toward the sunrise. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, These are the names of the men. You shall divide the land to you for your inheritance, Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun. You shall take one prince of every tribe to divide the land for inheritance. These are the names of the men. Of the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Jephunneh. Of the tribe of Judah and of Simeon, Shemel the son of Emihod. Of the tribe of Benjamin, Elidad the son of Shezlon. And the tribe of the children of Dan, a prince, Bukai, the son of Jogli. And the children of Joseph, of the tribe of the children of Manasseh, a prince, and Elau, the son of Ephod. And the tribe of the children of Ephraim, a prince, Kimul, the son of Shephzadan. Of the tribe of the children of Zebulon, a prince, Elisphan, the son of Parnak. And the tribe of the children of Issachar, a prince, Batil, the son of Azam. Of the tribe of the children of Asher, a prince, Ahihod, the son of Shilomi. Of the tribe of the children of Nephetali, a prince, Pidahel, the son of Amihod. These are they whom Yahweh commanded to divide their inheritance to the children of Israel in the land of Canaan. <laughs>